North Kansas City, Missouri for the featured bout of the evening. Brought to you by America Presents in association with Holden Productions and Harrah's Casino. This bout is sanctioned by the Missouri Office of Athletics. The administrator is Tim Lukanoff. Physicians, Dr. Michael Popa, Dr. James Webb, timekeeper Gordon Neal. Our judges scoring this bout from ringside, Fred Fensum, Bill Evans, and Ron Bausch, and a referee in charge. Our third man of the ring introducing Kevin Champion. All right, fans, here we go with our featured bout of the evening. The big boys of boxing, a heavyweight special attraction, scheduled 10 rounds of boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us across the nation, live from Harris, North Kansas City, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing green trunks with black trim, originally from Tampa, Florida, now fighting out of Miami. He weighed in at 235 pounds with a fine record of 14 wins, one loss. He has 12 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the hard-hitting fighter they call Irish, Tommy Martin. And his opponent across the ring, he's ready to fight on my right out of the blue corner in this 10 round main event, wearing red trunks with gold trim, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Havana, Cuba. He weighed in at 239 pounds. His record stands at 28 wins, five losses with 26. Big wins coming by way of knockout. Fresh off of a big knockout win. He is fighting his way back into contention. Please welcome the return of Jorge Luis Gonzalez. All right, you guys know the rules. I expect a good, clean fight. Keep your punches up and obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Either one of you. All right, good luck to both of you. Go back to your corners. Well, the uh, stare down was pretty much <laughs> even, I think. As we take a look uh, at the numbers, well, we started to look at the numbers, and unless those guys lost 75 pounds, <laughs> those were the numbers of our previous fight. Let's take a look at it now. And uh, these are two big lads. There's no question about it. Gonzalez at 6'7", Martin at 6'5", only four pounds difference, but 12 years difference. And a uh, big opportunity here for Martin. In fact, an opportunity for both guys because Gonzalez coming off his last performance was very effective and is just that close to another big shot. Martin really wanted this fight. He talked to matchmaker Tom Brown here earlier tonight. He said, you know, they kept calling him, please get us Jorge Luis Gonzalez. They called him before Gonzalez fought Alex Stewart. They called him after he fought Alex Stewart. They finally talked Tom Brown in. He said, all right, we'll make it. And uh, they bring their 14 and one Martin with his 12 KOs and big punch into the big arena now and into the big main event and against a very big man. Well, it's gonna be interesting. And the other thing about Gonzalez, he's a very good defensive fighter, something that gets largely overlooked, I think. And I think something that Kevin Henry told Sean O'Grady earlier, the fact that Jorge is hungrier now than he was in his early days as a pro is absolutely correct. You know what, he's uh -huh. heard the rumors, he's heard the, the talk on the street. After the Riddick Bowe loss, the second loss to Riddick Bowe, he said he was so upset he didn't go out of his house for a year trying to get that loss behind him and pick up with his career and go on with it. And he's finally done that. And you know what, when we saw him against Alex Stewart. He really he really looked focused. He was ready. He was down in weight. He wasn't that big, ostentatious, obnoxious person that we saw early in his career. He thought he was just going to walk through everyone. You know, he had so much success as an amateur. He thought he was going to have the same kind of success as a pro. But welcome to professional boxing. His record suffered from it. 28-5 with 26 KO. Says in the ring, he's a boxer puncher. For Tommy Martin, Irish Tommy Martin, that's him you're looking at like I needed to tell everyone. He's got Ireland written all over him. He is a boxer brawler in the ring, he says. He's adaptable. His best punch, he says, the jab. Tommy Martin, 12 KOs in his 14 wins. But you know, concerning that hunger factor, a hotel in Las Vegas signed Gonzalez to a ridiculously large contract 
at the very beginning of his professional career and basically did not bother bringing him up the ladder sure. but feeding him a lot of right. cupcakes along the way right. and you see that a lot in boxing when you give these fighters you know money and and roll out the red carpet for them they become spoiled and they lose their motivation a lot of times in boxing a hungry fighter is a good fighter and tommy martin is hungry you know they both have wanted to get a champion in the ring and tonight they've got kevin champion as the third man in the ring <laughs> Well, this is a guy that not only fought cupcakes, he ate too many of them, too. And that was one of his problems early on as well. End of one. I heard that sound a hundred times. Morning. Greeting available only between the hours of 5 a.m. and 12. You can only mean one thing. This was a cellular town. On A to B, B to C, C to D. 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Fly with roaming charges. I'm no hero. I'm just a guy with a better way. The Sprint PCS Free and Clear plan. Now as little as a dime anytime with free long distance. Need brakes? Get the best in the business to install them. And a lifetime guarantee. Honored at every Midas nationwide. Go safely. Go Midas. Just what did you do to those sharks? She screwed with the sharks and now the sharks are screwing with us. Feeding time. Deep Blue Sea, rated R. Starts Wednesday, July 28th at a theater near you. Sunset on the Missouri River. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Temperatures have cooled a little bit. Probably into the mid-80s now, let's say. Jorge Luis Gonzalez, Tommy Martin, round two. Gonzalez had an absolutely fabulous amateur career. We mentioned earlier his wins over... Riddick Bowe and Lennox Lewis is an amateur. Those came, believe it or not, in successive nights. And due to the Cuban boycott of two consecutive Olympics, uh, Jorge Luis Gonzalez never got to go to the Olympic Games. However, as, at the age of 17, he defeated the great Teofilo Stevenson and went on to beat him three more times. Ended up with an amateur record of 220 wins with only 13 losses, 169 knockouts. Man, that's a lot of knockouts. But you talked about a hungry fighter. He came to the United States. He was not a hungry fighter by his own admission. He says his priorities have changed. He's not into the nightlife quite as much as he was. He knows he's got one chance left, and he's trying to make the most of it. He says, now I fight with a fury. I want to KO everyone in my division. And he has a nice jab there. You know, big heavyweight, six foot seven. He has an 82 inch reach. Wow, nice left hook from Tommy. Well, Tommy, and we've said this a couple of times already, is not awed by the presence of Gonzalez. I mean, he's, he's there to fight. Gonzalez at 239 tonight is a pound less than he weighed for his fight with Alex Stewart. 10 pounds less than he weighed for his losing efforts against Tim Witherspoon. Actually, 11 pounds less. Against Witherspoon and Michael Grant, he weighed 250. Tonight, coming into the ring at 239. Tried to work the body there. You know, if Gonzalez wouldn't have been so hard-headed when he first came into the pros and really would have lined himself up with an outstanding trainer, listened to the trainer, a train, he might have really turned into a good heavyweight. And he still feels that there's time, and that may still be, be the case. Well, he does have skills. There's no question about it. Got an excellent jab, and as we said, a good defensive fighter. Good right hand there. And at 34 years old, the clock is ticking. By the time you get to me, 34 you realize that this is going to end very soon what is it like to be 34 rich i don't know i'm not 34 yet i'll let you know when i get there wouldn't you agree though that heavyweights seem to be able to extend their careers a lot longer than the lighter weight no doubt uh, no doubt yes they do the heavyweights certainly do Gonzalez is being much more active than we've seen him be in recent times also, and that would lay claim to what Kevin Henry told Sean O'Grady, that he's concentrating on conditioning much more, not yeah, just laying on his opponents like he has. Usually real active in the first couple of rounds. Let's see what happens after three. End of two. 
When you buy a bargain basement PC, what you're really buying is a mystery box. Will there be a monitor? Probably not. Lots of software? Ha! A year on the internet? 24-7 tech support? Dream on. With a Gateway Essential PC, you know exactly what you're getting. Monitor, great software, award-winning tech support, and internet access for $28 a month or less than a dollar a day. No mystery there. Call 1-800-GATEWAY for a Gateway Essential PC with an Intel Celeron processor. This is Propecia, a pill that might interest you. Talk to your doctor and call 1-888-5-MERC-9 to see if you're eligible for a $10 rebate certificate. Propecia, there's no reason to wait. Hey, is that a Kit Kat bar? Can we have a piece? Uh, sure. <laughs> Just a reminder, Fox Sports News Primetime comes your way every night at 10 right here on Fox Sports Net. Join Keith Olbermann and Kevin Fraser. They'll tell you everything that happened during the sports day. All the scores, all the highlights, all the breaking stories on Fox Sports News Primetime at 10. We start round number three. Jorge Luis Gonzalez in the red trunks and Tommy Martin in the green. Martin has not been able to get off yet. He's trying to jab with Gonzalez. That's not an easy thing to do. Not at all, but in this division, you have to jab. There's a good couple of jabs from him. You know, even if you are facing somebody with a long reach like Gonzalez, you have to follow his jab back. You got to somehow kill his jab by way of that. See what he's doing right there? Nice work from Tommy. Also, he's getting down. See that jab coming from a different angle? It's kind of pushing upward. Most of those jabs come right straight at you. He's doing a good unusual. job of jabbing Martin in this round. He is, and he followed it up a moment ago with a chopping right hand. Yeah, there's some good skills. Martin seems to be getting going in this round, kind of picking it up a little bit. You can't stand there and pose. Posing like that does nothing. One loss for Tommy Martin back in 1996. Very beginning of his career, a four-round decision against a guy by the name of Aaron Conway. Prior to that, Martin had a pretty good amateur career, including whacking out Lawrence Claybay one time. That's right. And Aaron Conway was a left-hander, and Martin just was not ready for that fight, never did figure him out. Said he went 55-14 in the non-paid ranks, two-time Florida State Golden Gloves champion. Born in Palm, Palm Harbor, Florida, from Miami, Tommy Martin. Gonzalez <laughs> says Lenny out of here. Yeah. Tommy, Tommy was trying to tackle him. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to turn it into a street fight there. I think Tommy Martin got hurt. He got clipped with a punch. And look at him move now. His knees wobbled a little bit. Not quite as aggressive as he was early part of this round. I think Gonzalez knows it. He's staying away. Martin had been doing a good job for a couple of minutes in this round before he got nailed. It would probably be who Martin to turn this into a street brawl as we come to the end of three. They say fruit is good for your body. Everybody loves fruit. The new t-shirt collection from fruit. Every style, every color, even the classic white. Everybody, Everybody. fruit of the loom. Go out and grab a bunch. Whoa! Hey, I've got bugs everywhere! You need Ortho Bug Be Gone. Kills virtually all types of harmful outdoor bugs. Guaranteed. Ah, beautiful! That Bug Be Gone really works. Got bugs? Leave it to Ortho. There are defining moments in every man's life. When I saw Fox's catcher cam for the first time, the game came alive again. And I had to know if I still had what it took. I just couldn't sit back watching from life's bench. I had to be in the game. I always had to be in the game. Hey, 
Fox Saturday Baseball Game of the Week on your local Fox station. We welcome you back. Another look, Rich. Yeah, and Gonzalez heard him. Watch for that a little short punch. See that little right uppercut? Now watch the knees. Look at the legs give way of Tommy Martin. A clear indication that he was staggered by a little punch that traveled maybe five, six inches. So now Gonzalez being much more aggressive here as we start the fourth round. Right now, let's go over to the corner of Tommy Martin where Sean O'Grady is, Sean. Thanks, guys. Tommy Torino is Tommy Martin's corner man. Tommy looked like he got hurt with a right uppercut. Did he get hurt? No, Tommy takes a real good punch. I mean, Gonzalez hit him with a shot, but Tommy shook it off. He's coming back. You know, he's going to get back into his game plan now. I think he shook the cobwebs. Uh, you know, he's back into his game plan now of boxing, moving. Yeah, what is his game plan? Well, he's going to box this guy, set up the openings, just like he's doing now, countering with the left hook, let Gonzalez wear down, and then take over the fight, just okay. like he's doing now. Okay, thank you, Tommy Torino. They want to keep the pressure on, keep him busy, and see if Gonzalez fades, guys. Keep working. Well, he is making Gonzalez work, I will say that, Rich. Yeah, I said it's probably not a bad idea to try to make Gonzalez get into a situation where he does fade. He faded badly in the loss to Witherspoon and certainly against Riddick Bowe. And I think that's what they're counting on here tonight, that maybe with the heat and with some pressure themselves and just with a difference in age, that it might be a situation where Gonzalez wears down. Well, there was a fight very similar to this that Gonzalez had back in 1996 when he lost to Ross Purdy. Purdy, just a, a journeyman heavyweight, and he beat him. And that was really, though, when Jorge just was out of it. And, and mentally, he fiddled his professional career. Gonzalez is really hoping that he can get an impressive performance here tonight, Gary. He wants to get into the Mike Tyson picture. He wants to be in the sweepstakes to fight Tyson. That was a swing and a miss. Even Gonzalez will laugh that one off. That's embarrassing. <laughs> he had gotten there, actually, with a couple of pretty good uppercuts just before that miss. You know, Gonzalez, getting back to my point, though, has been mentioned as a possible opponent for Mike Tyson. He is not currently in the top three of uh, the prospects who are uh, negotiating with Tyson, those being uh, Buster Douglas, Orlan Norris, and uh, Zelko Mavrovic. But he's hoping that his chances tonight could really be enhanced if he was impressive. But he really wants Tyson. Coming to the end of the fourth round now. And we'll be back. Just what the hell did you do to those sharks? We used gene therapies to increase their brain mass. As a side effect, the sharks got smarter. She screwed with the sharks, and now the sharks are screwing with us. What happens if she escapes? The oceans would be theirs. Beating time. Deep Blue Sea, rated R. Starts Wednesday, July 28th at a theater near you. When you buy a bargain basement PC, what you're really buying is a mystery box. Will there be a monitor? Probably not. Lots of software? Ha! A year on the internet? 24-7 tech support? Dream on. With a Gateway Essential PC, you know exactly what you're getting. Monitor, great software, award-winning tech support, and internet access for $28 a month or less than a dollar a day. No mystery there. Call 1-800-GATEWAY for a Gateway Essential PC with an Intel Celeron processor. Embarrassing moment for Jorge Luis Gonzalez in the round. A wild right hand uppercut with a swing and a miss. Followed it with a left, a swing and a miss. And down he went. Knocked himself down. <laughs> right now, let's go over to Sean O'Grady. He is with uh, Louis de Cubas in the corner of Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Sean? Thanks, guys. Louis, how much of a factor is this heat 
Oh, it's very, very hot in there. But George, start, George Gonzalez trying to establish his jab. We'll be okay. It's a little hot, you know, and, but we'll be okay. I see you putting that wet towel on the back of his neck. Do you yeah, think because, that's Well, of course, because it's very hot in here. It's like 105, you know, in the ring, and it's very, very cold, very, very hot. Plus, Tommy, Martin's pretty tough. Did you expect this? No, tough? I never expected him to be that tough, but he's a tough kid. But Horace starting to get to him now. He's a tough kid. Anybody who's 14 and 1, it's got to be tough, you know what I mean? Okay, well, he, you got some tough guys in there. Okay, back you. over to Barry and Rich. You guys are both tough. We are, absolutely. <laughs> and don't want any part of either one of these two guys. Your scorecard, Rich. Two point edge for Gonzalez. Three rounds to one after four rounds. I thought Jorge Luis has pretty much uh, controlled the action for the first four rounds. Although Martin has performed better than we had reason to think, in as much as he was stepping up so much in class from a low level opposition that he fought before. Gonzalez has not allowed Martin a chance to really get off. Most of Martin's punches have been rather wild. Well, when Martin gets close to him, a lot of times uh, Jorge Luis will just wrap those big long arms and he's around his head. Martin that time lunging at Gonzalez. Gonzalez not jabbing as much as we normally see. Could be because Martin, every time when he throws a jab, a lot of times he's countering right off of that jab, Barry, with a jab of his own. It's not a bad idea against an aggressive opponent like Martin, who every now and then will just go for broke. Good right hand by Gonzalez to the top of the head of Martin. Keep in mind, too, as this fight wears on, that uh, Martin has only been past four rounds one time, and that was only six rounds. He's never gone past six. And now there's a cut, and it appears to be, actually looks like it's under the eye of Martin. It's a little hard to tell. There's a good right hand, and that staggered Martin, and another staggers him. Yeah, Gonzalez seems almost buoyed by the sight of the blood. Those two right hands were headed right in that direction. Jorge Luis really snapped those rights. There's that jab. Very good round for Gonzalez. Gonzalez finishing the round very slow, very quickly. Look at that right hand right on the blood. It seemed almost as soon as the blood appeared, Jorge Luis went right to work on it. He, he began throwing that right hand and he began connecting. Trying to see where that cut is and it, they don't appear to be working on a cut, so might have just been from the nose. Remind of the gold deep comes your way Sundays at 9 o'clock on Fox Sportsnet. Going deep, of course, the 60 minutes of sports television. Watch it Sundays at 9 right here on Fox Sportsnet. Chris Myers does a very good job on that show, I think. Like Gonzalez, you talk about turning it up a notch. That last 30 to 40 seconds was really scintillating work by Jorge Luis. Gonzalez defected a long time from Cuba before the current crop did, uh, Barry, the ones we have seen from uh, Team uh, Freedom, as they are known today, with Joel Casamayor, with uh, Ramon Garbet, Diabella Sertado, those bunch. You know, it was a long time ago that uh, Gonzalez defected. He was in uh, Denmark for a tournament there, and he defected. I said, did you have to go hide? He looked at me and said, Rich, how could I hide? I'm 6'7", I wear a big cowboy hat, and I'm Cuban in Denmark. <laughs> Might have stood out in the crowd. <laughs> Not only that, all you had to do was find him at any smorgasbord. You know, people may not believe it, but in the last year, for whatever reasons, Gonzalez has mellowed. He's yeah, he turned has. into a, a person who is much easier to get along with rather than that surly individual who was present a few years ago. And actually fun to be around, which is certainly not was not the case a few years ago. No, absolutely. And he's taking his sport much more seriously now. 
that's all by his own admission. Now, John is just jabbing Martin, setting everything up with the jab now. Usually the right cross coming behind it, but there he showed he could bury a right to the body behind the jab as well. Martin doesn't really seem to have any answers for Gonzalez. Even though in Martin's corner, they were saying that the last round was his best. I don't know if Tommy believed them. Blood now also coming from the mouth of Martin. There was a right hand again, and Martin again saw his knees give way. That looked like the old Satchel Page hesitation pitch. Gonzalez actually held up in mid-swing and then finished off the right. He's bloodying Martin and reddening Martin's face good. Another thing about Gonzalez, he's been on his toes most of this fight. Now this is all part of that conditioning of his yeah. that we talked about. This was a guy who a few years ago, whose conditioning, whose idea of conditioning was eating a lot and going out with a lot of girls. That's exactly right. A couple of good right hands by Gonzalez and a good jab. He's starting to beat Martin up. How come so many professional athletes wear copper bracelets? Hey, that's Chi-Chi Rodriguez. I think my energy band improves my golf game. Now you too can have the Chi-Chi Rodriguez energy band. It combines the power of copper with the harmonizing power of magnetics. He really looks good too. The energy band is beautifully crafted from solid copper, then electroplated in genuine 24 karat gold with a stunning white gold accent. Patent pending magnets make it truly unique and it's designed to comfortably fit your wrist. Copper and magnetic bracelets sell in catalogs for up to $150 and more. But the Chi Chi Rodriguez Energy Band is yours for only $19.95. Order yours now while supplies last. That's being a winner. To order, use your credit card and call 1 800 852 4440. That's 1 800 852 4440. Or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Call and order right now. We welcome you back. The sun starts to set, but it is still very hot. Jorge Luis Gonzalez has been pretty hot here, too, as we start the seventh round. He's starting to bust up Tommy Martin now. Gonzalez in the last two rounds has really seemed to find a rhythm, a good rhythm, basing it all on the left jab. And a four-point edge now for Gonzalez on your card, Rich. It's been an impressive performance for Gonzalez against an overmatched opponent, but nonetheless impressive. Yeah, and his fight with Alex Stewart, he was impressive in his ability to, as marvelous Marvin Hagler used to call it, destruct and destroy as soon as he got a man in trouble, in that case, Alex Stewart. Tonight, impressive and keeping to a game plan, getting better now as the fight wears on, getting into a rhythm and showing some of the skills that were always there but were never really put to the best use. And he has plenty of skills. We talked about his defense, which is quite good. He has a very good jab. Showed us a great uppercut against Alex Stewart. I think Kevin Henry's got to be given a lot of credit, his trainer. Those two have seemed to click. For whatever reason, Gonzalez could never click with any other trainers, but with Kevin Henry, he has, and he's been willing to listen. Well, he also had a back problem for a long time, and he says he's better now, too. Trying to lure Martin in here. Work out. Keep your hands moving. Right. Gonzalez less aggressive in this round.
last summer, Jorge Luis Gonzalez fought a really dreadful fight with Kyle Wolfgram at a pay-per-view show down in San Antonio. And after that is when he turned, started turning things around. He knocked out a guy by the name of Josh Gormley, more familiarly known as Josh Dempsey. He knocked him out. That surprised a lot of people. Then he beat Rodolfo Moran in four rounds, a fringe contender. And then the big win over Alex Stewart. Good right hand there. Again, starting to bust up Tommy Martin. Martin got there with a long right hand. Tommy's tough. He's fighting back. Well, you know, I, I see this fight really as a no-lose fight for Tommy Martin as we come to the end of the seventh round. Martin, though, kind of drags back to his corner. Let's take another look at that exchange. Martin did get there with the right hand, but he took a lot of punishment in that round, too. Yeah, he, he took a, quite a few, in fact, but he still was willing to fight back. He hit Gonzalez there with the left hand that you saw, and still as the round was wearing to an end, came back and landed probably his best punch of the fight, that overhand right. You can actually see the foot of uh, Gonzalez rise up off the canvas a little. Well, Gonzalez looking for another title shot. There's a guy in the arena here looking for his first and getting closer to it, Monty Barrett, who is with Sean O'Grady, champ. Yeah, really an interesting spectator here tonight. Monty Barrett, the number 10 ranked heavyweight in the world. What kind of fight are you seeing here? It's a good fight. Um, Martin, he needs to settle down and uh, start depending on his left hook a little bit more. Jorge Gonzalez has a lot of confidence right now. and He got his bounce, he got his jab working. He's throwing all type of punches, but uh, I like that he got Martin. Sitting out here, Monty, are you chomping at the bit, wanting to get in there and fight? Well, not one of these guys, I mean, I mean, I, I, I could get these guys out of there real quick. I'm looking forward to my big, uh, my big show on August 28th. I've been fighting on Fox a few times, and Fox is my home. They bred me. Now I'm moving up to the big boys, which is HBO on August 28th. I'm, I'm, fight, I'm fighting Mount Whitaker. We, we have seen you in some terrific fights. Good luck in that fight. Guys, he's got a fight looking forward, but also he's enjoying this fight. Fighting Lance Whitaker and uh, going up with the big boys, Rich. I guess uh, our kid is leaving us. <laughs> Well, he's, he's done very well. I think the fight that catapulted him was that fight with Phil Jackson, which he dominated the bout, and he moves up now. And that was the, that's why those two guys were coming together, to see who was gonna move up and take the next big step. That'll be an interesting fight on the same card with David Reed and Keith Mullings, also a very interesting fight. Yeah, both of them, I think. David Reed we saw, of course, a week or so ago, and uh, some work to be done in the David Reed camp. Well, if he fights the way that he fought Keith, uh, Kevin Kelly, he'll lose to Keith Mullen. But I have a sneaking suspicion he won't fight that same fight, and he'll be much better oh, than he was against Kevin Kelly. A lot of swelling now beneath the uh, left eye of Tommy Martin. It swells up a little bit worse with each round. Now that in fact, around the right eye, there's a swelling as well. Still, he's fighting. Work, work, work. In fact, I think there's a cut alongside the right eye. Let's see if Gonzalez reacts the same way he saw blood two rounds ago. As soon as he saw it, he really went to work. He might start, start sticking that jab out right on that eye. Double jab, exactly as you said. Gonzalez just working that jab now. Remember now, this is all uh, uncharted waters for Tommy Martin. Never been past six rounds until tonight. And he's taken a pretty good beating in the last three, four rounds. Gonzalez, I think you'd have to say, is in the best shape we've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, it really has, because he's been active. This is not just been a fight where he's put it on cruise control. Heading for the end of round number eight. The story is pretty much the same. It's been a good story so far for Jorge Luis Gonzalez. We'll be back. Hi. A guy's world.
is full of sweat. That's why there's hey. Speed Stick Ultimate. It's antibacterial. Oh. It kills the germs that cause odor. And isn't that the ultimate goal? Speed Stick Ultimate. By Manning. road can you drive on with B.S. Goodrich tires? Approved. Enjoy. Any road you choose. B.F. Goodrich tires take control. This is Propecia. Call 1-888-5-MERC-8 for more information and ask your doctor if Propecia is right for you. Propecia. What are you waiting for? Welcome back to Harris Hotel and Casino. We're in North Kansas City, Missouri, on the Missouri River. Beautiful setting here and uh, good showcase for Jorge Luis Gonzalez. The doctor was in the corner of Tommy Martin, taking a good close look as he is starting to get beaten up, but the doctor said he's okay. <laughs> well, Easy for him to say. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, Martin right now has got a puffed up left eye it's puffing up from underneath a cut right eye he was bleeding from the nose and bleeding from the mouth in the last round right now let's uh, go to sean o'grady with a report sean thanks barry you know this heat has a lot of effects on a lot of different things including the, the cuts all of a sudden your skin is more pliable and you get cut easier in this heat and it bleeds more well there's a little cut underneath the left eye of tommy martin uh, his corner man, his cut man, too, did a nice job of putting some coagulant on it, trying to stop the bleeding. Also, he's cut around the mouth and nose. Back to you guys. Well, right now, he has taken a real beating. As Gonzalez opened him up with the right hand, came back with the left, and Martin is on really wobbly legs. Uh, he's, in fact, he's ready to go. He Gonzalez still. knows it and is looking for one big finisher. That's it. Yeah, well stopped, I think, by Kevin Champion. Well, he's not going to stop it yet. He's just going to count. Might, might be well stopped though. That's it. That's it. As soon as he staggered to the left, Kevin Champion said that's enough. And Jorge Luis Gonzalez has put another notch on the belt and gotten himself, I feel, closer to yet another chance. Very impressive performance. This kid here was a very tough opponent tonight. He uh, is not a seasoned opponent, but he came here to fight to give it his best. He was as tall as Jorge Luis Gonzalez but not as good as Jorge Luis Gonzalez. And there's the Cuban, no longer sporting that long ponytail of his recent years. Much more serious about boxing and getting in, condi in condition. And he sees the effect of it. That's the main thing, you know? You get in shape, then you're rewarded. And it certainly encourages you to go back out and get in shape again. Well, and really, this is not so much about Tommy Martin. I think we'll probably see him again. He gave a, a creditable, creditable performance, at least in trying to fight with Jorge Luis Gonzalez. This is really about this man. And, and he's really brought himself back from, uh, you know, a guy who just sort of showed up and tried to win on an eight ability, and now he's given himself the best chance to win in every fight. Yeah, I think he's uh, ready to re-enter the real mix uh, once again. Very important uh, performance tonight in terms of being in condition. And look at the pinpoint punching by Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Not missing with much anymore. All of those punches were landing. Did you see that? There was five straight punches that landed. Still looking to set up his man, though, as he chases him across the ring, knocks him into the ropes and down to one knee. The referee gave him a count, but the corner man for Martin came up the stairs and onto the ring apron, and that was enough to convince the referee as well as Martin Zick the condition at that point to give it a, uh, to call the fight at that point. Yeah, and Kevin Champion actually tried to take a step, told him to take a step forward. He couldn't do it. He went sideways. As soon as he went sideways, Champion said, that's it. That's enough. And Gonzalez is the winner. We'll jump off the track. We'll come back. We will make it official when we come back to North Kansas City on the Missouri. There's the man of the moment, Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Yo pienso que es lo principal cuando un, un padre le, le inculca a un hijo 
buenos modales, que, que haga deporte, que, que, que vaya a la escuela, que sea buen hijo, que sea buen padre cuando, cuando crezca. Y eso fue lo que mi, 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 mi papá y mi mamá este, hizo con nosotros. Me imagino cómo se debe sentir mi papá cuando me, se, me ve jugar en, en las grandes ligas. Así me gustaría estar con ver a mi hijo Marco jugar en las grandes ligas algún día. Puedo ser un aficionado de un niño de tu, de tu vecindad. Solo sé un aficionado de tu hijo. Tonight at 9 on a brand new Going Deep. From dirt tracks and back roads to the big bucks of Madison Avenue, get an inside look at the NASCAR boom. Then go one-on-one -on -one with Randall Cunningham. I was just trying to win. That's all I cared about. Going Deep. Tonight at 9 on Fox Sports Net. Catch Fox Sports News tonight. All the games, the biggest names, breaking stories, and more. Then, when stars talk, Romy gets the last word. It's all good stuff. Fox Sports News tonight, followed by the last word. Tonight, starting at 6. Welcome back to Kansas City on a steamy summer night where Jorge Luis Gonzalez was as hot as the temperature. Did a great job putting away Tommy Martin. Right now we go to the center of the ring. Jimmy Lennon will make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 21 seconds of round number nine. A referee in charge, Kevin Champion, takes the advice and suggestion of the corner, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Jorge Luis Gonzalez is the winner yet another time. It's interesting, I ran into Tommy Martin's people uh, earlier today and uh, we were talking about it and I said, well, if you're gonna beat this guy, you gotta make him fight. Well, you know what, he did make him fight, but it's a different Jorge Luis Gonzalez that we're looking at now. And right now, he's in the center of the ring with Sean O'Grady. Sean? Up here with team Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Jorge, how much of a factor was this heat tonight? Oh, very, very, I didn't the sound of me, I feel. Yes, oh man, deep in it. Wow. Yeah. How, how much of a factor was Tommy Martin? Well, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Remember, I, I feel, man. Oh man, the human, it's different than the, the human, the, the different than Las Vegas. I mean, the, the Vegas is dry. Yes, too humid. Made me feel like a tie, you know what I mean? No snap. You know? Wow. It's very hot and you sweated a lot tonight. Yeah, what, what did tonight tell you about yourself? Okay, I thought I about myself. I got in great condition. You know, the matter of the beat, I just dance it. I for 10 round two, I feel in this fight, no, no, not too strong. I feel a little weak, my foot, my waist, a little down. And this fight, the humid is too hard for me, you know. But my condition is very good. What if, what if, I forget about it, you know? Oh, hey, Luis, what if Mike Tyson is watching this show tonight? Oh, listen, I'm not talking to you, excuse me. Tyson, listen, look, I told you, I told you something for you, man. Hey, be a man if I were me. Be a man if I were me. So you say no, everything, everything else is your decision. Ten more day, right? Ten more day? Yeah. Ten more day. I'm ready for you, man. I'm ready for you. Okay. He's waiting. Get away right here. It's kind of hot to wait here, though. All right. Oh, hey, Luis Gonzalez. He's waiting for Mike Tyson. It's uh, no a little toasty up here in the ring, guys. Well, every fighter and every trainer has uh, talked about what an effect the heat has had. He's got uh, some Cuban supporters who were very vocal and no doubt helped him. But I got to say, Rich, I was very impressed with this guy tonight, maybe even more so tonight than against Alex Stewart, because I think there was always that question of what does Alex Stewart have left? But I think two fights in a row now says something about this guy. Yeah, he is really coming on now. It's amazing that he's coming into his prime at the age of 34, but it's the first time he's ever really done the things necessary to become a good fighter as a professional. He's doing them now and becoming a good fighter. Well, let's find out what the Vanquish thinks about Gonzalez. Sean O'Grady with Tommy Martin. Fight in a fight career, you've got to step up to the plate. Tonight you stepped up to the plate, you did yourself good, but he was tough. Yeah, he sure was. He uh, he kept me on the outside, and uh, it's pretty effective tonight. But um, I'll be back. How about this heat? How much of a factor was that? Um, the heat wasn't really a problem. It was just a lack of experience, I think. Um, I moved from a six to a ten. I, uh, you know, I'm up for a challenge, and I took it. Tommy, this is a fight that you really wanted tonight. Yeah, it is. Why? Um, well, uh, the, you know, Jorge Gonzalez is a is a named fighter, and. Uh, I just wanted to see what I, I just decided to step it up tonight. All right, so what's next for you? Um, go back to the gym and uh, work, huh? right, take right. from the start again. All right, get those cuts healed. Right. Well, you know something, you don't know if you can actually step up until you actually do it. Tonight you stepped up, now, you, now perhaps you can uh, pick up and go on with your career. Tommy Martin, 
back over to you guys. All right, thanks very much, Sean, and thanks to Tommy Martin. This, as we said, Rich, really kind of a no-lose fight for Tommy Martin. Yeah, I think he actually did himself good. You know, he, he fought uh, he fought very hard. He proved his toughness. He showed good at times, but, you know, against the motivated and in shape of Gonzalez, as he said, he just wasn't experienced enough. But he'll be back, I think, Tommy Martin. Yeah, it gives him a barometer of exactly where he's at, what he needs to do to get back into an arena of this scope. Once again, we'll come back.